Hi guys, this is EVP Man with Tabits for Me, and today we're going to do an unboxing review of a case, well it's actually the only case available on the market at this time, for the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4, and this case is from Belkin. In the opening video I talked about how this case was the only case available for the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4, and that's because as I've been searching on eBay and also searching on Amazon and, and many of the local retailers, I haven't really been able to find anything that is currently available the day in which the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 was released. There are several cases on the market that will be available sometime next month, um, some several weeks from now. So if you do uh, purchase a tablet in the next couple days and you want to have some type of protective case, you know, your only choice is the Belkin case. It's a rather expensive case, I would say probably too expensive for what you can compare and find on Amazon at $49.99. But when you compare the fact that you are investing close to $400 in a tablet, and I for one uh, don't really care for having my tablet, um, as some people would call it naked, without a case, because if you do drop it, um, you would damage your investment. So um, I guess the opportunity is really on Belkin's side, having this case available in launch time. And the case, um, not a lot of information can be found on the case as far as how the material of the actual case, what it's made of. What I've been finding is that it does seem to be a leather finish, uh, either leather or a leather finish, uh, and it has this uh, gray stripe. Inside the case, you will find a microfiber interior, and the uh, case connects or is uh, fixed inside of the, the tablet is fixed inside of the case with these uh, little holders that it has on every corner. It does have this elastic band that is used to keep the case shut. And two things I will mention is that I don't believe that this case is a smart case. In other words, as you open the case, your tablet turns on. Um, either that or the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 does not support auto -wake, the auto wake feature. I don't know yet which, which may be the case. So uh, we'll have to see what happens. I'll have to do a little bit more research. But nevertheless, the, uh, as you look at this case, it will not turn on your tablet when you open up the cover automatically. It is one of those um, covers that will can sit in multiple positions. So as you have your tablet, you'll be able to put your tablet in this position. And it has some, some little slots here that are these grooves that as your tablet, as you can see right here, there is kind of a little cutout that allows that as it goes into each one of these grooves, it does give it, you know, some type of, I would not so much traction, but almost like grip um, as it falls into that groove so it doesn't slide out easily. And also I like keeping the elastic band here because it also provides another area where you can actually keep your, your tablet at an angle. It does support the cutouts for the camera, and we'll see how that fits in a couple seconds. And you do have access to all of the ports and you know infrared uh, beamer uh, without any problem. Uh, it is a light case, as you can see, it's not really that thick. It doesn't add much thickness to your tablet. And I'd say that the tablet, despite the size it being larger than our um, Note uh, 7 inch and also the Note 8, so the Galaxy Tab 7 and the Galaxy Note 8, while it's larger, it is still pocketable. So I was wearing, for example, a, um, a, a jacket, and I was able to open up uh, my pocket. I have a deep pocket on it. It's like a North Face jacket. And I was able to sli uh, uh, slip the tablet in and carry it with me. And it wasn't bulging out where people were saying, hey, why do you have a big bulge in your pocket or anything like that? So uh, this, this does not add significant weight to your actual tablet. So now let's take a look at how you insert the tablet and the overall uh, aesthetics is once your tablet is inside of this case. Here is my Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4. This is the wide edition. has that uh, fake leather finish with the stitching around it. I will go ahead and insert it. And I don't know what is the right way to do it on this guy. So what I'll do is I'll just start from the side. I always like putting my tablets in this way. And on the corners, once I get to the corners, I'll just raise the corners like this. Get it in there. And it is pretty secure. Now, as I close it, remember I said it does not have the auto wake feature, so nothing is going to happen. Either the tablet doesn't support it or the case, it may be one or the other, or maybe both. You'll notice that if we look right here, there's not a lot of thickness added to your case or to your tablet. You have a little bit more thickness here because of just the way 
bell can tend to make their cases. Uh, as you look in the back, your cutouts are nicely aligned, no issues there, so your flash is available and your camera is available. On the top, you have access to your headphone jack. On the bottom, you have access to your micro um, USB port. Your speakers are available, so you have no problems accessing that. And it does provide some good protection. You'll notice that you don't have the tablet isn't flush with the actual case, which is important, and you want to see that in your cases because if you do keep this in your briefcase this way or in a backpack, you don't want this rubbing and, and you know it getting all scratched up. At least I don't. I'm kind of particular, especially because you have the volume controls here, and you don't want that pressing down as it's in your bag because sometimes it will either turn on your tablet, reboot your tablet, all this other stuff just happens. So not a good idea. The, uh, the tablet does support multiple angles, as I mentioned. So here is like one of those angles. And if I put it right here, you'll see how that sits. It's not magnetic in any way, so it will lift up. We've seen some other cases like from Logitech where it's magnetic, where you place it. And if you let go, it stays in place because it's a magnetic um, actual um, fix um, as you put it in these uh, different positions. But you do know that it does um, support going into those grooves, and it's pretty stable. You don't have any problems with it. And then with this uh, elastic, which I like, is it gives it even more. You could bring it to this angle if you like. And again, it depends on all your viewing angle. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Uh, the, uh, the case also wraps around the back like this. And uh, it, I don't know if this is, is by design, but if this is something that you want to do for typing, you know, you could do this. Um, you could use it. So if, if you're going to be typing from your tablet, um, it doesn't it doesn't hold up that well. But you'll notice right here as I'm doing this, it's not bad if that's something that you want to do. So uh, that was my review of the Belkin uh, case for the. It's also it's actually called the Belkin striped cover withstand for the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4. And again, at this time of this review, and this is the second day, or day two, of the release of the Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4, it's the only case that you can find in any big box retailer. So, if you have any comments or questions, leave them on the YouTube channel. Again, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, and to hit like. Thanks.